All right, welcome back to uh, CAD class. This is going to be uh, what I call uh, Chapter 3 or CAD Class 3, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is going to be just some drawing practice and going over those drawings that were attached to the last video as some kind of drawing practice. Um, so we're going to start with Practice 1. If you're unsure, I will tag this PDF again at the bottom so you can follow along. Um, but this is just kind of how you start drawing them. Um, I kind of gave you a few different techniques and a few different things. Um, and I notice I am missing uh, one dimension on here, so I'll give that to you as well, um, as well as correct it and make a new PDF. So um, let's start off here by first uh, starting at zero, zero. Um, so we're gonna go to the Home tab at the top, and we're gonna start drawing a line. So the line command's right there. And when I click that, it's gonna ask me to enter my point. So this is where I'm gonna go to zero, comma, zero, as that's where it says the start point for practice three is. I might have said practice one, I meant practice three. Now I'm gonna hit F8. So it's going to lock me in this sort of uh, thing here, which is called ortho. You'll see it. It came on. It's in blue. It's right here. So basically, all you're going to do is put yourself in the direction you want to go and then type in your distance. So there's 15. There's 10. So again, we're going to go 5, 3, 5, 3, then 5, and then CL for close. And you'll have this the practice number three which is listed in the PDF now the next part was a little bit tricky you kind of had to kind of figure out how to get it all started so there's a few different ways to do it um, but I'm gonna show you real quick so let's draw a rectangle and uh, let's put myself at uh, 1.5 comma 1.5 and you'll see that kind of put me right here and then I'm gonna enter my dimensions and then from here I'm gonna enter three and then five enter and it would have put the uh, rectangle in here. Now, here's the rectangle here. Um, we're going to double check a few things and make sure I didn't hit the wrong numbers, but I think that is correct. Um, so it's three and five, we're going to give it a click. Now, um, one of the things I always do is I never make the, the picture look exactly how it is, because um, I want you guys to notice that there's a difference between the two and that you guys can kind of catch out subtle differences. So if you're ever unsure, about something again remember on your home tab you have the measure button right here and you can always measure now even if you don't know your snaps yet even if you click close and click about there you can just kind of tell see where it says ortho 3 so that's right and then just give the other one a double check as well so there we go so we're at 1.5 1.5 it looks good um, now we're gonna put a circle in um, so we're gonna go circle and diameter here and then again where it asks for the center point we're gonna enter 8 comma 4 which will put the circle in, right? There we go. And then I'm gonna give it a diameter of one. And then you'll notice it's kind of small. So does it look like the picture? Probably not, but that was the diameter I meant for it to be. Um, so you'll see that kind of update in the practice there on the PDF. So again, we have this guy in a diameter of one. Now the next one rectangles over here and it's 14 and five. Um, so again, we're gonna go into the rectangle command, which is right up here on the same. Same tab as everything else, that draw panel. Um, we're gonna give it a click, and then we're gonna go to 14, comma, five, enter. Then we're gonna hit D for dimension. And then it's gonna ask us, so we're gonna enter two. Oh, sorry, this is actually gonna be three, sorry. Three, enter, two, enter. And it'll put the rectangle in right there. Now again, you can kind of twist it wherever you need it to go, but it's supposed to be right here. And there's your rectangle. Um, now from here, I'm gonna throw some dimensions in just to check. Um, we're not learning dimensions yet, but you should know that uh, dimensions are just kind of an easy way to kind of check our work. So let me throw some dimensions in real quick. All right, so you can kind of see the dimensions there and kind of check it out. Again, this will be on the other one in a second. And this one here was practice three. So again, I always kind of just like labeling everything, um, keeping it simple. So I'm just gonna put some real quick text in here. Um, again, we haven't learned it yet, but um, again, it's not so hard to learn this stuff. Spell check does work, luckily for me. And yeah, this was practice three. All right, so I'm just going to move over here now. So this one here, you needed to start with this starting point right here, which was zero comma zero. So um, again, just make sure that you follow directions. And this one wouldn't have been so hard. Um, a lot of people just start putting in the lines and they kind of get confused because then all of a sudden they have to go to this, which is not hard to figure out, but you know, obviously, you know, I would go offset 1.5, 1.5 and I get to that corner. But again, if you didn't know how to do that, this is going to help you out a lot. All right. So 
I'm drawing the next one here. I'm going to go back to the home tab line. And for this one here, we can kind of draw wherever we're at. Um, and this one's a little over dimension, but that's fine. So we're going to five enter. And then uh, we're going to go two. And then we're going to go one. And again, we're just with the ortho on. We're just kind of doing what we call lines by direction here. Um, so we're trying to keep it as easy as possible. Then we're going to go three. Then we're going to go one. Then we're going to go one. And then we'll close it up so we can type the CL. So again, we have this object here. Now the next object is actually relatively easy, um, even if you didn't know how to draw the angle. So if you would have just started from here, and then went three, and then went five, then went five, then went three, you could have gone to here. Now this one here would have been the tricky part if you didn't know, but you could type in CL and it would have closed it for you, or you could have snapped if you know how to do it to the end point right there. So again, I'm going to dimension these real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. And again, you can use these drawings as well to kind of move around and practice. Just kind of get used to moving around to different items and, uh, you know, just get used to moving around a drawing in general. It will help you out greatly. So again, this is how you draw the items that are included in the PDF. Um, this will conclude the end of the class today. Um, again, if you like the video, please make sure you like and also subscribe. And uh, there's also a little bell icon if you want to get notifications every single time I upload a new video. Um, I'll be uploading probably a chapter a day, if not more. So um, again, just kind of uh, keep your eye out for the videos. If you like them, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.